Hi guys! Hi! So we have a spotlight to bring to you today on Hourglass Cosmetic Products. Yay. We're so excited. <laughs> we have been waiting to do this video for a while now. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, if you have missed a few of our videos, but we had a fabulous makeup artist named Josh Collier. He has a YouTube channel. It's called Josh Collier MUA. We will link to it below. But he was our wonderful makeup artist that attended our Sephora Holiday Girls Night Out event. And we spent so much time in Josh's chair. Yes, it was <laughs> exciting for us because you guys know how we feel about Sephora. Yeah. Fabulous. And we're very familiar with most of their brands there. This is a particular brand neither one of us had tried. We'd walked past it before. I think we swatched a few things, thought it was pretty, but we were like, mm, we don't really know much about it. So when he decided to join us that night, yeah, we wow. were. We got an so education. Um, we walked away with so many great products. And like Mindy said, it was the Sephora night. So that was December the 4th. So we've been playing with these products for over a month. Yeah. And we wanted to make sure that we got in there good. We played with them. We used them. We worked with mm -hmm. them so that we could come back to you guys and tell you guys what we think. And as you can tell, probably we're, we're really, really happy excited. about these products. We're excited about them yeah. and we're excited to bring you guys a new brand. Yeah. Hourglass is one of Sephora's luxury brands. Yes. They rank right up there with YSL and Dior. So they are amazing products. Yes. They are kind of definitely known in the market for being very vegan chic, um, yeah. which is really exciting if you really go for, you know, things that are all natural and yeah. you know, no parabens, gluten, a lot of gluten free products. Yeah. Like animal friendly, sulfate free, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. And we're probably going to put below some extra little details yes. like in the actual post that we'll write up with it. But if you're, like Mindy said, if you're someone who loves cosmetics, but you're not really into like things that could potentially be in them, right. we don't usually have a problem with that, but we know a lot of people that do. And this is a high-end quality makeup brand that is, yeah, vegan chic. We yes. love it. It's such really a, cool. Such a really catchy phrase. I know. I like it. It's fun to say. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go right in because this yeah. is probably going to be a long video. Yeah, we're sorry if this is going to be yeah. like a 30-minute video, but we do have a lot of great products. We're going to um, be as thorough as we possibly can. We want to explain everything to you. Yeah. We even want to do a demo as to show you an, um, like kind of how we use some of the products. Yeah. So we might as well get going. Get started. Okay. All right, the first thing is a lip liner that Jamie brought, bought. It's called the Trace Lip Liner, and she got it in the shade called... Is it on there? Bear. Bear. Let me just okay. start off with this. Mindy and I are in love with this packaging. It's like a bronzy brown, like metal packaging. It's very, very chic. like chic. It's luxe. It's very high end. It's fabulous. I am just in love with it. Um, it's called Bear Lip Liner. Looks like it's just roll it up. You pretty much don't have to sharpen it. It's like self sharpening. Mm -hmm. um, I'll swatch the color for you. And I will tell you this, I'm new to lip liner. I've worn it in the past and then kind of got away from it. Um, it's very nude. It'll go under a lot of different things. Some people think that nude lip liners work with nude lipsticks. Well, that's not the case. A nice nude base will work with any color lipstick. Yeah. And you've said that that is incredibly smooth. It is so smooth. And it's actually pretty long wearing, too. Long wearing. Um, I don't find it to be drying at all. And kind of how I do it is I kind of make sure that I come in at the lip and go just on the outer part of the lip. So I'm trying to make the lip as full as possible. I'm not drawing lips on, but I'm going at the very top of my lip and then hitting it. Mm -hmm. And then I fill it in with, with all over color and bare. Um, and on the other end of this is a brush, which is excellent for blending out the lip liner or for using with your lipsticks. It's fabulous. I love it. I actually don't use this for blending out the lip liner because I don't really feel that the liner needs to be blended that much for me. But with the lipstick, I love it. It's yeah. definitely handy in my purse. Um, yeah. The I love it. And the Trace lip liner does retail for $28 US. $28. Yes. So, like we said, this is a luxury line. Luxury brand. Yes. And we cool. are we're ecstatic to show you guys all of these things. And we'll let you know along the way, too, what we purchased ourselves. Yes. And Josh was actually generous enough to give us a few samples. So we're yes. going to totally tell you what we received as samples and what we purchased. Yes. Okay. On to the lipsticks that we bought. Jamie got the Femme Rouge Velvet Cream Lipstick in Nocturnal, which Hourglass des describes as a plum wine. On me, it kind of transfers as a little more 
uh, I'm wearing it right now. I'm going to get a little close so you can see it. Um, it transfers a little more plummy pink. Mm -hmm. um, in the tube, it looks more plum. On me, it's a little pinker. And you know um, one thing that I love turning that up all the way? Is the little imprint on the tube of lipstick itself has the little hourglass it looks shape. like an hourglass. Yeah. It is fabulous. It's a really lustrous cream formula. It is, it doesn't have any weird taste to it. No. I so, mean, it smells like lipstick. Like lipstick. There's lipstick. nothing special about the smell, but what you can't really taste, I don't yeah. taste it. And I actually received a sample from Josh of the lipstick here called Icon. And mine is a little bit messy, so I apologize for that. But this is a very rich pigmented red. It's actually described as a deep cherry red. And I am wearing it on my lips, which you guys know that I am not one for really bold lipstick. But sitting in Josh's chair that night, he gave me all of the like encouragement that yes. I needed to really like He's go a confidence for a booster. Red. Yes, he is. So I absolutely love this lipstick. Now I will be honest with you guys and tell you that it is a very powerful red shade. So what I do with it is I put it on and then I blot with a tissue and then I just put a little bit of a lip gloss on top that just tones it down a little bit. It actually I think almost turns it more into a fuchsia shade on me yeah. than a red. But it's a statement it's color. And if I mean, you if you girls love red lipsticks gorgeous. A statement. You're gonna make a statement with it and we'll tell you a lot of people think that red lipsticks are just for holidays. No. Yeah. It's great for the holidays but red lipstick yeah. I'm sorry. Why for anything? Any day, a girl's night there. out? A date? Um, like Mindy mentioned it's hydrating. It mm -hmm. does not dry my lips out. Yeah, which, it's incredibly creamy. And I'll tell you the coolest part about this is I'm one that most of my lipsticks have to have some type of shimmer in it. Mm -hmm. I don't like to buy a matte lipstick because sometimes, we've talked about this 90,000 times, sometimes I have dry lips, you can see it. Because this is so creamy, and I don't know if you can even see the shine on it, yeah. I think you can, um, it sinks into my lips and it doesn't, you know how matte can just pick up imperfections? Mm -hmm. No, this doesn't do that. And I really like it. I agree. And it also doesn't, it really does not feather out when, yeah, you, no. when you use it. It stays put and it doesn't move. You're not going to experience any feathering with Hourglass's lip products. And, yeah, obviously, if, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> we were going to say that one of the coolest features about Hourglass's lipsticks is that you can buy refillable cartridges. The lipstick okay. itself, when you buy the first one, is $30. Just like that. Yes. But you can buy refillable cartridges for each of Hourglass's lipstick shades that are $24. And Jamie's okay. going to show you all you have to do. All you got to do is grab the base of the lipstick and this. And you just gently, forcefully... <laughs> hold on, my hands A little up. bit of a tug. Sorry. And if I you have lotion, lotion on, on your hands... Don't <laughs> put lotion on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here you go. It pops out. And it's not really that hard. I really do have, like, lotion on my hands. But you can see that there's a little thing here. And that'll just click on. So if you get the refill at Sephora, mm -hmm. let's see if you can hear it. Hold on. You can hear that? Okay. Yeah. Once Pops you hear back that in, snap, you know you're good to and go. And you know you're good to go. And like I said, it is not hard. I just have slippery hands right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I will just show you. It's If you want a full, full contact color, like a full power color, put it on like a regular lipstick. Mm -hmm. Then you can use your little brush to like make it all work. I like to use this with the brush. So I just take it and just da 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 mm -hmm. The brush is actually going to make it more appear more like a stain almost. Mm -hmm. um, you're not going to get that full coverage. But I like it like that. Just wanted yeah. to point that out. Gorgeous. Okay, cool. Jamie also got a lip gloss from Hourglass the, that night. She bought this. this All is this the, stuff I bought. Yes. Yeah. This is the Extreme Sheen High Shine Lip Gloss in Primal, which they describe yeah. as a sheer plum. I really, really love this packaging. I know that sounds silly, but when you're paying for you're paying decent money for something, you want nice. It's packaging. gorgeous. We love it. Um, okay. Did you say the name of this? I'm sorry. This is nocturnal. No, I'm primal. sorry. This is primal. <laughs> That's okay. Um. Oh wait. I'm so sorry. It's on my lips, but I didn't even swatch it. I'm gonna swatch it. And I'm gonna put the lip gloss next to it. So I just put the nocturnal lipstick on here. Now, one really cool thing about their lip gloss, oh my gosh. Smells good. It smells like cake batter. Like, I'm not even lying. It smells like cake batter. Yeah, it's I smell, fabulous. I smelled it earlier when Jamie had it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to eat that. Um, we don't recommend you eating it, though. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Super so, high shine. And it's a really rich pigment, actually, it is. for a lip gloss. And it's long-wearing. 
Yes. And it's, it's actually really hard to kind of, like, wash off, right? I think like, it's long wearing. I'm, I can't remember exactly what Josh said. Um, it's not on the Sephora website, but it's almost a tad bit water resistant. Um, I know he said, I think he sprayed water mm -hmm. over top of it, and it was like, look, it almost, like, beads up on it, mm -hmm. kind of. Um, but like Mindy said, it is long wearing, and I'm all about that. The cool thing is that you get the shine without the stickiness. Exactly. Um, I do have some lip glosses that I'm in love with that are sticky. Mm -hmm. This is not. It actually feels like... A balm or something? A, yes. Mm -hmm. It feels like I'm wearing a balm. Um, the smell alone of this, <laughs> I mean, I will definitely go back. There are some shades that I want and... Yeah, and there's retail for $28. I can't say enough great things about this. And it does have a little bit of shimmer in it. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy, nothing too too much. Very light, nice shimmer. I love that you can see the color of the gloss through the packaging on the front, but when you flip it over on the back, it's just really luxurious yeah. and sleek looking. Love it. Yeah, love it, love beautiful. it, love it. Okay, now we're going to talk about a little sample that Josh gave us that Jamie and I literally cannot get enough of. I have sadly... Like, I think used all of mine up. I'm um, hoarding a little bit. <laughs> it's the Veil Mineral Primer, which we are both so stoked about going and getting another yes. one as soon as we possibly can. It's not inexpensive, you guys. It does retail for an ounce. It's $52. But let me just tell you, talk about luxury. It is amazing. It's fabulous. We have talked about this right. in a previous so it video. Like it was in our um, December favorites. But it's water resistant, it neutralizes skin, it minimizes shine and the appearance of your pores. It is almost, a, it starts out as a liquid that almost as you blend it in feels like a powder. So it goes on just like that. Yeah. <laughs> it absorbs excess oils throughout the day. So in girls, if you have oily skin, it's a really great primer to use. I mean, oh, it feels really, really, it's so soft. Yeah, I love it. And I'll tell you, I don't have oily skin. I don't have large pores. I love this stuff. Yeah. It, it makes for such a smooth base to work with your, you know, with your foundation mm -hmm. and stuff. And just the way it makes your skin feel, mm -hmm. it almost makes you think you, you have healthier skin. Yeah, when we use this, you know, we do use a moisturizer. Then we use the mineral, the veil mineral primer. And then we go on to whatever foundation we're using that day. But... It is wonderful. It yeah. also has SPF 15 in it, so you are protecting your... Which, the funny thing is, I did not uh, pay attention if he's, if Josh said that until recently when mm -hmm. Mindy was like, oh, it has SPF in it. Yeah. That's even another benefit for me yeah. because sometimes I don't always... Perk. You know, a lot of people apply sunscreen and all other stuff. I like stuff that goes on my face my makeup to actually have it in there for me. It doesn't mess with my and skin. And for a product that feels this good to know that it is protecting your skin oh, throughout so the day smooth. from UV rays, it's amazing. Yeah. So we just had to rave about it one more time. We have milked the sample for as much as we possibly can, and it's time for us and to go And it's on our one. wish list, because yeah. the next time we're in Sephora, we're probably going to have to go ahead and purchase this. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, cheeks. We got a sheer cheek stain. It's called the Aura Sheer Cheek Stain. I got the shade called Petal, which is a peachy pink, and Jamie got the Flush, Flush. which is a berry pink. Now... Mine still, I have it in the packaging just because I like to save some of my packaging for you guys to see. Um, but Looks like basically, that. this is a water-based stain that's really lightweight and hydrating. And as you dispense the product, you will just, you'll hear the click. Yeah. And it just dispenses the perfect amount of product for you to just dab on your cheeks and then blend out. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I'll actually just get enough on here so that I can swatch Minus this for this you guys. Color. Um, let me ask you a question, Mindy. Do you put this directly on your skin, or do you take your finger and... I put it... I do actually put mine directly on my skin. All right, and I actually take my finger to the top of this. That's a good and idea, And do it in like that. Um, only because, I'll tell you, Mindy has worked with cheek stains before. Mm -hmm. I'm a rookie. This is this is my first one. Um, I was really nervous. I bought... I bought we bought these, by the yes, way. Yes, we did. I was really nervous to buy this. I almost didn't, only because I've never used one before. I'm very big on just my standard powder blushes. So this is the first one I've owned. Um, I'll tell you, the first time I got a little overzealous, mm -hmm. I put on a little too much. Yeah, like, that might be a little bit too much right there. But you can see that if you just... A click or two is all that you need to yeah, dispense the right can... amount. And I kind of blotted this in a little bit. This one is just a nice pink 
flush to your cheeks. I mean, they named it pretty pretty well. We're both wearing them today. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but we mm -hmm. both have them on. Um, I I like it. Yeah. I really do. I'm really surprised because, like I said, this is my first one. It's another splurge product. It does retail for forty five dollars, but yeah, it's amazing. We love it, and it'll actually last you. It's just really gonna last long forever because yeah. you really don't need a lot. Yeah, just like, a couple of days. Like really, when you. I don't want to do it too much because the product will definitely come out mm -hmm. here. So if you get this, when you're first trying to get the product, go slow and give it a second and let the product come up. There is but, a little bit of a delay between yeah. the clicking and the product actually rising. But I literally do bop bop and then hit like, mm -hmm. I almost do fish face when I'm doing it because I'm still, you know, <laughs> playing with it. Yeah, but you want to hit your cheekbones. And I'm like this and I just do it and I'll say that. Um, if you think you have a little too much on, give it a second, rub it out a little bit more, and then I put a little powder on that day right. that I did too much. I didn't stress out about it. I thought it looked fine after I did that, but now I'm a pro. I know how to yes. use it. We love it. And I love it. All right. Oh, this is a product we don't have, but I've heard that they're lip stains, especially in, I think there's a lip stain in Petal. Is that Petal? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've heard mm. that's really nice. Oh, that's something else something. that I'm going to have to add to my wish list. Yeah, wish list. All right. Now on to two of our favorite products. Something that we absolutely can say has probably become an all-time favorite. And yes. one is a mascara and one is something called a lash lacquer, which we're going to give you a little bit of an education on because Josh definitely educated us the night that we were yeah. able to sit in his chair. Okay, the, the mascara is the Film Noir Full Spectrum Mascara. And this is the really cool thing about this, and I think that this is just very cool marketing on hourglasses part is that the wand itself is shaped like an hourglass i don't know yeah. if i can get in there really tight for you guys to see that that is completely hourglass hourglass shaped mm -hmm. it is wider at the top and at the bottom and skinnier in the center and it just really i i don't know you guys i love mascara because i'm all about everything that i can do to yeah. make my eyelashes as long as possible and this has become my all-time favorite mascara and I love it too. I have mentioned a thousand times that I have really stubbly <laughs> eyelashes. Um, love it. It's in the color Onyx. Is that the only one they have? Yes, it's think? only available yeah. on Onyx. Um, I love it. And I'll tell you, if you're someone that likes to do their mascara in two seconds and just blah, I don't even pay attention, then don't buy this because it works best. I mean, it'll take you literally 30 seconds to do, right. but you get in there and do that and then hit this corner and mm -hmm. hit all, hit your individual get your, lashes. Get your outer corner lashes too, for sure. I like it a This lot. product says that it adds volume, length, lift, and separation, yeah. and that it has an intense concentration of panthenol, which is a pro-vitamin B5 that adds sheen for drama. And I believe that. Um... I feel like the first time I wore it, I could tell that it still had sheen. Okay, some people say, oh, mascaras are supposed to last all day, mm -hmm. which typically they do, but sometimes they lose their luster, yeah. and some of the drugstore ones do for me. Yes. I can tell when I go to wash my face off when I have my little cotton pad and my makeup remover, and this I go to hit it, is there it, all coats. Day. it coats your lashes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this retails for $28. Jamie actually did get a sample from Josh that he was generous yeah. enough to provide, and I bought one because I yes. had to have it. Um, and I'll tell you, it is a little, I think the formula is, is, is a wet formula. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. I just would say that when you're using this mascara, do your lower lashes first because if you do your upper lashes before you do your lower lashes, then when you kind of look down to hit your lower yeah, lashes, yeah. your upper lashes will tend to kind of hit your eyelid. And yeah. it, because this is a wet formula, it might just leave a little mascara on your eyelid. Yeah. So go ahead and do your lower lashes first. Let them be drying. And then as you're looking up to apply your mascara to your upper lashes, then you're not affecting your lower lashes at all. They're drying. Yeah. And it's not the type of thing that I feel like I have to like, you know, give it any length of time after I put it on to dry. By the yeah. time I do a couple of coats, it's dry, it's set, and I'm good to go. Yeah. I think it's awesome. Um, very, very, very excited about it. And I'll tell you, probably 10 of our friends that came to the Sephora night mm -hmm. walked out with this mascara. Yeah. And it is a good one. Josh was a really excellent salesperson. Yes. <laughs> but I think that the product also speaks, speaks for them. Itself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and then the last hourglass product that we have had the 
yeah. pleasure of reviewing <laughs> and trying out and playing with because it's a, an incredibly fun product. Never seen anything like this on the market. Is the Film Noir Lash Lacquer. And this comes in, the only shade that it's available is called Coal. So yep. it's just a black. And it's in the same kind of tube that the lip glosses come in. Mm hmm Okay. Well, this okay. product is almost like a paintbrush for your eyelashes. Yeah, it's it's a black shiny top coat. Like yes. how you put such a V or whatever you use on your nails as your top coat mm -hmm. to finish off your nails. This is a finishing product for your eyelashes. Yeah, and here is the packaging just when you bring it home. Gorgeous, very luxurious, luxurious. Um, paraben free, sulfate free, free violet free, fragrance yeah. free. So again, it's going along with the whole vegan chic. Yeah. Um, Jamie, again, got a sample of this from Josh. Thank you again, Josh, so much for being so generous. Um, I picked Thank one up you. and brought it home with me as well yes. because I had to have it. Um, but it creates length, volume, and shine. Yeah. And the only way that we can give this product justice is to give you a little demo. Yes, so bear with us because we <laughs> might have to like pause so and do some of this. But, okay, so it's in a brush. It comes out, it looks like this. You see that it's kind of goopy right there. The directions say that you just wipe the excess back in the tube. Yes. Not a problem. Very easy. Um, you want to hold your brush vertically. I will say that the first time I used it, I went in like... Horizontally. Yeah. yeah. And it kind of worked, but it, it obviously didn't... Uh, it doesn't do help the trick. It doesn't help separate or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, you want to layer this right on top of your mascara. So after you've done your mascara, this yeah. is your last step. So right now I'm wearing their Hourglass Mascara. Um, you don't actually have to use this over an Hourglass Mascara, but it does need to be a lengthening mm -hmm. type mascara that you want to use this over. Mm -hmm. So basically, okay, I'm going to try to come in here and do this mm -hmm. and not look completely silly. But vertically, and then you want to hit your lashes and go just down and you hit like each one so I just have a little mirror here I'm gonna try to do maybe one and then show you the other one without and hopefully mm -hmm. you're gonna see the difference because I know in my makeup room yeah I see the difference so let me get started yeah and while Jamie talks about it I just want to explain that you just want to do this in short even strokes it is a latex like formula so it just goes on like a paint like a top coat and it just adds that extra oomph it really creates the drama with your lashes that you want and it's super easy don't be intimidated by a product like this because when we first saw it we were like we've never seen anything like this so how do you use it and what do you do with yeah. it? And Josh was so informative that night as far as telling us exactly what to do and how you want to hold the brush vertically so that you really lengthen every single one of your lashes. And your mascara brush, if it doesn't hit every single lash, then this is going to get the lashes that it missed. And I tell you, it's amazing. It's so much fun. You can use this day or night. I mean, don't feel like this is just a nighttime product that you're going to really do to just amp up your look. Do it during the day. Girls, I go to work and I'm like, I'm not playing around. I want my mascara yeah. to be on for real and I want my lashes to look long. I love it. It's and they said another way to do this if you don't, if you just want a tiny bit of a little extra is to just hit the, hit the, the tips ends. of the outer part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm hoping that you're going to be able to tell a difference. Can you tell a difference? I can totally tell a difference. Okay. Your, especially her bottom lashes are so much bolder. All right, I'm going to maybe get really close. Yeah, try and get in there real good. Okay. We Sorry want you, for the extreme close-up, We want people. you guys to really be able to tell the difference. All right, do you think they can tell? Can you guys tell? I think that you I hope so. I think this is probably a really awful <laughs> picture of myself, but I really just wanted to show you guys, like, this is the eye without... And this is the eye with. So I hope you can tell. Yeah. You can definitely tell in person. If you can't tell yeah. in the video, it's just because of the quality of our camera. We do not have an HD camera In person, here. it looks just more touched up, more refined, bolder. Mm -hmm. Definitely and more dramatic. It's. I can see my bottom lashes. I'm sorry. They just look really nice. That's all I can say because anything that will make my lashes look fuller and more beautiful and I'm not one right now that wears false lashes maybe I'll get into that a lot of times I'm like I don't think I have time to do it I know it takes like 30 seconds once you use it to me I'm just gonna use this yeah it looks really good who needs I'm false sorry. lashes really... when you have this product it does retail for $28 yeah. which is not bad it's worth every single dollar that it is I dig it and I will say the first time I used it like I said I used it kind of wrong and I was like mm, I don't know about this product um, after using it many, many times, 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is a top coat. It finishes off your look. That's yeah. all I can say. Love it. Hope Amazing. you guys could see. If <laughs> if you can't quite tell, let us know, and we might try. And I say try. <laughs> our take, like, some, I know, our photography still, skills are a little challenged. We're still working on all that. Um, we appreciate you guys bearing with us. But yeah. maybe there's a way that we can take some photos and post them at another time. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And we are in no way, shape, or form being compensated no. by Hourglass or Josh or anyone. Yes, we love Josh. Yes, we're super excited about the brand. But our hype about this and our excitement about this is completely genuine. We really, really love the brand. Yeah. It's a splurge. It's not something that we can afford to definitely go buy every month. But when you really want to spoil yourself, maybe it's, it's your nice. birthday, maybe it's a Christmas present, maybe you get it for Valentine's Day. Yeah. It's, or they make nice gifts. It's worth it. It really is. And now that I'm thinking about it, I need to go apply this to my yes, yeah, other yeah. eye <laughs> so I can look uniform yeah so um, we really appreciate y'all bearing with us yes. i know this is a long video but we wanted to be thorough and we really have been excited like i said at yeah. the beginning of this to bring you this yeah. video we've been promising it for a while and when we're excited i mean obviously we blog and we youtube a lot about beauty related things when we're excited we want to share that with you guys because maybe you guys already use this and yeah. we don't know yeah. um but it was new, like we said a new brand um from Josh, who was so excited about what he does mm -hmm. and who he works for, that excitement transferred to us. Yeah. And then when we actually tried the products and we were like, love it, love it. Yeah. yeah. So definitely drop us a comment if there's yeah. anything that you want to know more about this yeah. brand. Any questions, um, you can always ask us or subscribe to Josh's channel. Definitely. And uh, you have someone that you could probably ask directly yeah so, we'll or put, we can we'll put lots of details in the information bar below this post or in our blog so definitely check yeah. out the details below but we would love to hear what you guys think yes absolutely and thank you so much for sitting with thank us you. through this <laughs> i hope my close-up didn't scare anybody or your children or your dogs or anything like that <laughs> that's a lot of jamie's face that's all I'm saying. well hey at least we're not hd <laughs> that's true all right guys thank all you right. so much bye bye